Hi and welcome to my craft room. I'm going to use the mink. I set it here by my desk, on my desk actually, <laughs> and I decided to use some green foil and some beautiful gold foil. I wanted to use up these small containers first that I had here and I'm also going to make it an interactive card. It's going to be a spinner card. I didn't use any of these ribbons. I did get them out but in the final card I did not use them and I just love this mink machine and I thought it'd be nice to set it on my desk so you could see it in action. So it's going to be a spinner card and I'm like I said going to use these gorgeous bells and every element in this set and the outside of the card is going to be in that set and I didn't end up using the corners there but I used the leaves and the filigree there on the right lower section of the dies. Now I brought in 120, 100, excuse me, 140 pound cardstock. See the difference? One did not get dark laser print. If you're going to bring it into your stationery store, make sure they do it pitch black like what I'm showing you and put number four on the mink. That's what I use anyway. It goes up to five, but I find four just perfect. So I've sent my dies out onto my one pass metal thing that I put on top of my magnet board and um, it really does you only it really does work with one pass with your dies. It's absolutely amazing and it sticks onto the magnet perfectly. You get a little bit more space actually. So I'm just making sure that all of these dies do not touch because I don't want to have an accident and ruin one of my dies. So I cut my plastic piece here in half mostly because I don't foil a lot of dies to use up a whole sheet so I sliced it down the center lengthwise and now I'm setting out everything I'm going to gold foil and put them. Um, I actually don't know what I'm doing there. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm having fun. That's what I'm doing. And because I didn't have a real plan for this card, I was just cutting out everything. I took my large gold foil here, a new roll, because I needed the length and I didn't have enough in the small ones. And this is absolutely beautiful. When you do a card using the MIG machine with the gold, I, I just love the end result of this card. And I'm kind of guessing as I go on how it is going to lay out but um, you know I did have a little bit in, of the card in mind that's what I'm trying to say there so now it's going to pass and all you have to do with it is uh, take your bone folder or I have another tool that I bought exactly for this purpose and I didn't realize it until you'll see me switch up uh, I didn't realize it until after that I'd actually bought a tool to do the foiling like this and I'll show you later on. So I'm moving a thousand miles an hour here and I do find you have to go over the top of the plastic to set that to make it look at that so that you don't have any creases in it just to secure it and make look at that aren't they beautiful. The filigree is beautiful. And I want to say right here that I used this filigree on the card um, and I overlapped it on the card. So just keep in mind, if you put a front and a back on anything, remember to turn the sheet over for the opposite side. I'll show you that. It kind of doesn't make sense here, but I just thought of it. On the filigree, I had to turn the um, paper on the wrong side so that when you put the glue them together they end up going out right. I don't know why I just threw that in there. I just thought I'd mention it. <laughs> yes, I, it's always late when I do these voiceovers but uh, anyway here I'm uh, doing the green and you want to make sure there's no crinkly wrinklies in there because they will crease when you run it through. So isn't this a beautiful green? Um, foil. It, it's simply beautiful. And right up to now I didn't know I was going to use the bell as the um, interactive part that spins for the spinner card. 
So I'm still using my bone folder there to make sure they all, look at that. Ah, oh, they're just beautiful. I love these dies the, so far, the ones that I used. And I want to show you there, see what happened? It overlapped. But I thought that's kind of cute. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what happened there, but their leaves got stuck to that twig. And, uh, but I thought I'll, I'll use that. And that's a different, uh, actually, that is a little piece. I tried a different color. It was between a silver and a gold. So here is the frame that I decided to go with for the outside of the card. Isn't it beautiful with the bows? So now I am just preparing. I'm going to cut that sheet, that laser uh, piece, the 140-pound uh, cardstock. And I don't know why I was putting that over top. Oh, yes, I do now. I decided not to waste any. <laughs> I noticed that the small uh, sheet was better to use than the large one. Yes, it is laid here. So look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? And I don't have a laser printer, so I took a lot of these sheets in and had them printed out for me. Now here's my little foam piece to get all of the little guts out, which works wonderfully. Uh, they're a set actually and everything sticks on there like a magnet. It's wonderful. I'm going to show you here where it's from uh, It's actually a two there. It is it is by Spellbind. It's called two-in-one foam and I love that it really saves a lot of mess on your craft mat So now I'm running some more gold through and uh, it, it was just like I always say, a beautiful card to make. And it is a Christmas card. And uh, it doesn't have a ton of elements, yet it did take a little bit. There's the tool right there. And it is by Basic Gray, and it has that nice scraper on the end. It's for doing uh, stickers, actually. That's uh, just came to, isn't that gorgeous? It just came to me, it is for doing stickers. So I used the Merry Christmas that uh, is from a sentiment set. I will tell you where it's from. And I decided not to take it out, to foil it with um, the guts of the Merry Christmas right in the sheet and just put that on top right there. And that way I knew that it was going to hit every area on there. So now I'm measuring the card base how big I want the card. I knew it was um, going to be a larger size card and I ended up using a, um, I'll show you in just a minute there, I'm just showing you how pretty that foil is. Sorry, I'm just watching this go along. And it did not have one wrinkle in here when I took the Merry Christmas out of the paper, which is totally awesome. Look at all that gold. Actually, I must have just set that black sheet on there for you to see how pretty everything was. It was hard to see on the mat. Isn't that Merry Christmas just yummy? So here's where I make up my mind on how um, long, the length I want my card. And I cut it half an inch on the top. I scored it, excuse me, half an inch on the top. Because I'm going to add a back piece and I put some um, sequin tape because you know me I have to have everything sticking very well and I cut a piece for the for the exact size on the back and then I stuck it down like that and here's the frame that is going on the front and I ended up making two frames you'll probably notice that on the end of the card uh, I want it to be thicker uh, when I did it and there I am deciding to do uh, what I'm going to put on the front and I ended up um, using the bell. Now I cut the bottom piece out to do an inlay. I thought that would be just beautiful on the front um, and it fit just perfectly and as I ran it through folded it gave me a nice imprint to put the next die so it sat up on the inside a little bit. And now this, I know I'm running quite quickly. I'm watching the screen as I'm doing the voiceover. And this 
Remember I showed you in my haul video this bow set and it is the perfect size to cover up that line, the fold right there in the back of the card. And um, yeah, so this is the card stock that I used to uh, punch out another one uh, for the inside of the card. That's what I was showing you right there. One is not, it's just flat gold for the inside of the card and this is the minked foil. So now I'm going to have to cut a hole because it is going to be a spinner card, right? So I put my die there and I just uh, make a template so that I know how, where to run it through on my Vagabond. And I did it on the front here with both sheets because I need to have something to cover up the um, inlay. So I'm just taping it down with some post-it tape and I used a little bit of the medical tape on the bottom and the post-it is easier to get off. That's what I wanted to test. Which one was better, the post-it or the medical tape? So here's the bells and I am using... Um, I did not... The reason for this is, I know I'm jumping all over the place here, but the reason I put the embossing powder here, this beautiful vintage uh, embossing powder on the inside because I'm going to have to put a front and a back. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous when it heats up? Is because I did not turn the paper over when I uh, die cut it to get a front and a back. So when I placed these on top of one another there was just a tad bit of a line and I didn't want you to see white cardstock when I did that. So I decided to put the sparkly glitter embossing powder on there and I grabbed some gold twine just really fine gold twine and I'm setting it down in the center just to measure it out and I get my Xyron and it was too tiny it was so small that tiny one so I had to get out my uh, five inch Xyron and it worked there it is right there and it worked perfectly that way I know that all of the glue, because it's really intricate and you don't want liquid glue all over the place, so the Xyron worked really well. Isn't that nice? And like I said, I, they're both the fronts and that's why I put the glitter on the inside. And really, when you see this card, there it is, the gold twine. When you see it at the end, how the glitter just, when you spin that card, oh, so here are my dazzling diamonds and I'm going to add that so that when I take the little guts out there the inside is going to have sparkle if you know what I mean there the inside of the little squares I don't miss any part uh, it's really important detail is very important to me when I do a card I, I try and think of every angle when somebody is looking at the card that they don't uh, no cardstock is visible. That's what I'm trying to say there. So here, when you put a spinner card on, what I realized is very important is that you uh, pull it very tight, the string, and it'll work out much better. Now, I took my Suquang tape and made sure I taped every single little speck <laughs> of that insert for the top piece that opens up so that it holds the spinner twine in place double. Not only do I have tape on, as you can see, but I end up having uh, the Suquang tape as well. And then I just made sure that it was even before I ended up patting it down. And isn't that pretty? It's just going to be a really nice card. <laughs> Some cards are just nicer than others, aren't they? And now I'm putting in the inlay and I ran that through the Xyron so I had double the, the sticky on there because you know me, I don't like anything, the possibility of anything falling off. So I had the sticky from the insert and I had the sticky from the Xyron and it came off nicely. So I decided to put a piece of gold on the back here and it was easy to put on because I ran it through the Xyron. Uh, because when I ran that through the Vagabond, it made that nice embossed indent. So it was raised up and it was really pretty. And this is just a baby wipe. 
to take some of the glue off. I didn't want to have any of the glue on. And in that one set, remember I showed you from my haul that bow, the bows fit perfect across there to hide the crease from folding it over because I needed some extra length on my card. And uh, it doesn't look pretty. And I had some some glitter on my mat. So <laughs> if you see me, see all the little dots, if you see me like, uh, yeah, trying to get them off all the time. So here is that wonderful, oh, isn't that pretty? I'm telling you, I just love it. And uh, this piece for the front with the bows. And look at all the sparkles all over the place. Yeah, it's just sparkles. It'll all come off. And here I am putting the flat gold insert with some uh, Tombow Mono Multi on the inside and I'm just taking a paper towel just to pat it down and that way I can see the flat gold with the uh, mink foiled gold looks beautiful together I just love it so I'm cleaning up my mat trying to get some of those sparklies out of the way and we are going to move on to another element here it was just uh, I was just fixing my camera there and um, now I decided to use some of that uh, liner remember I showed you that I thought I got this at Sharon's store but I didn't I ended up getting this at the dollar store I wish I had got more packages I only got two packages but I just love this because it covers up uh, if you see and right I've got two thicknesses there and I didn't want you to be able to see on the side so I thought this would work out well and it's just a peel and stick and it has tons of well five different patterns but uh, rows and rows of it see it there it's just beautiful and it's uh, shiny gold it looks like I minked it it's just gorgeous so I put it around the inside when you flip this up it's actually the upper portion of the card so I'm laying this down and I end up using it on the outside of the card as well. It just looked beautiful because there's so much black on the card stock. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I just love it. And it was at the dollar store. Yes, and I did go back to see if I could get, I was going to get a ton of it so I could give some of it away because I know a lot of people have asked me about it, but they didn't have any more. Isn't that always the way? So there's the raised embossed area, embossed area on the bottom. You can see it. And once I put this on top, it looks gorgeous. So I am adding uh, some Tombow Mono Malty. And I put it down there. And it's raised up just enough to give it some wonderful interest. I just love it. And you have to keep washing your hands if you're working with foil. That's another thing I'm going to say. Like that you don't have any glue on your fingers because it will stick on that foil and it's very difficult to get it off. A baby wipe will get some on if you have a little wee touch of it but you really want to be careful working with the uh, foil. So now I'm taking the uh, Merry Christmas and I'm putting the Christmas on there. I did not want it raised. I want it to look like it just ran right across uh, the card so I decided to not add layers on this I figured uh, there was enough going on there that um, I'm just dabbing it with a baby wipe I find that's the perfect thing to use and uh, just to get some glue off because a paper towel would leave the fibers right so here we have it up to now and now I am doing the filigree. I put it on the front and the back. So when you open up the card you see gold. I have gold in the front and I have gold on the back. And that's where I was talking about taking your page, your uh, cardstock and folding it over if you're going to put any backing on it because uh, that's that way they fit, right? So here I have both pieces put down and I'm trying to decide if I'm going to put anything else on the front and I end up wanting to put those gorgeous little tassels. Look at them. Ah, oh, 
so beautiful and I face them going out I thought that would look so sweet look at my <laughs> look at my attached leaves up there <laughs> that's cute yes yeah so anywho yeah this card actually if you're looking at it and you notice I started the card wearing a pink sweater and today I ended up wearing a blue sweater because it took me two days to finally get this finished because we had a terrible storm and I didn't have any um, hydro for a bit and you know after you stop a card you end up um, yeah not going back but I did today and I got it finished for you and here is that uh, wonderful wonderful oh, I just love this sticky liner and I went with the smaller size so that um, it just it just added to the black cardstock. It kind of looked empty around the edges. And I ended up taking my um, corner puncher and punching the bottom two corners out. So um, if you see that, I had to round, I rounded the corners. That's why I went around the um, edges like that and made sure it was not cute. And then eventually here, I am going to show you how it spins. It's a quick spin though. <laughs> Yeah, and here I've taken some little diamonds and I put them in the center of all these bows and a larger one on the bottom right there. And now we're just flipping it over to show you. I added a little green bow down at the bottom. It's so sweet. And here it has uh, two layers of the um, front, of the bow actual front. I don't know if you can notice that, but I wanted to be raised up more. It was too flat for me, so I added another piece on the top. Now I am going to wind this up and quickly show you how it spins. It's so beauteous. Yes, let's start spinning that thing. Isn't that pretty? So I'm gonna take it and I'm going to start spinning. There you go. <laughs> ah, that was fast, wasn't it? <laughs> Quick, I know. I know. Yeah, I'm still dealing with those sparklies on the back. But anyway, it does spin. You just have to take it and twirl it around, twirl it around. And when you open it, it has a wonderful spin on it. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I, I was playing with it so much here. It was crazy. Well, we're winding down on this card, and if I can quit spinning it and take my hands off to show you, there's the inside, there's the raised bottom. I think gold comes out so elegant, don't you? And this is the upper portion, and I'm turning it around. I love the green with the gold on the mink. I like this. There I go again. <laughs> It was so much fun to make this card. I like the tassel sticking out there. Uh, you really have to stare at this card to really get all the elements in it. But it is a pretty spinner card and uh, it was a joy to make it for you. And if you get an opportunity to use the uh, foil, it is a wonderful looking card. So... Um, yeah, I'm just going to keep spinning it. Oh yeah, now I'm taking my pokey tool. <laughs> this is crazy. I just love this thing. I don't know. I'm going to have to make some more of them because I'm having way too much fun here. So anyway, thank you to everybody that subscribed to my channel. I appreciate your comments and dropping by. And you have yourself a blessed day. And we will see you on the next video. I'm just going to once again show you. Here's the inside. Uh, I love the way that that bottom just sticks out like that. So there you have it. Have yourself a wonderful week.